There's too much to process right now Just have to find a way to keep going Just have to find a way to stay focused Take my mind off what's happening Off this what's with all these secrets These as your misunderstandings Why do we have so many secrets? But I was deceived, blindly believed They call me ghost, ghost I'm not good with words No one truly comprehends the burden Freezing deep grief from all their sins Call me ghost, ghost Oh, it's a curse word Cause even though you're there I um, bought you coffee. I didn't know what to get you though. You didn't strike me as the caramel macchiato with two shots of cinnamon type of girl. <laughs> so I just got you a latte instead. Oh wow, thanks. You didn't have to though. A latte's fine. So he just happened to get you a cup of coffee, did he? Well, at least you're not latte. You know, late. Oh. <laughs> So, moving on, what's the progress with the case? Yeah, so you'll all get your phones back after my tech team has gone through all the footage. I mean, you guys film a lot of things. A generation behind the screen. Sad. I can't stop thinking about you. What about it? There is no greater sorrow than to recall our time of joy. Sorry, what? Dante's Inferno? I think it's a quote that suits her well. She got upset because of Liv and how they used to be friends. They can't fix that. They may never have fixed things. I wouldn't dwell on it. He's right. Probably. Also, the fact that she said Liv got what she deserved, she's still a suspect in my book. Have you ever thought about training for the police? <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> and shouldn't you be at sixth form? They've got a lot of half days at the moment, you know, because a girl got murdered and teenagers can't do anything. I see. Well, then we should look at your next suspect. Who's on your list? Oh. Who is it? Nathan Saunders. What about Nathan? I mean, he's a bit odd, but... He's not just odd, he's a creep and a stalker. That's a bold accusation to make. It's not just me that thinks so. I actually filed a report against him at the station. You did? Um. Olivia? Yes. How long? Hey, <laughs> always watching. A while. Why did you file the report? Are you talking to me? No. He was stalking me. Like, properly. I got scared. A report? Uh, Liv said that she... She made a report against Nathan. 
and stalking her. Interesting. I don't want to say any more about it. You can go read the report. Oh, all right, Liv, chill. She says that you should look for the report in the police station. She's not happy talking about it. <laughs> I still can't believe I'm getting help on the murder case from the victim themselves. I mean, no one would believe me. I'm not sure I believe me. Then don't tell anyone. <laughs> I won't. If Olivia doesn't feel comfortable telling me about Nathan, then what can you tell me? He was a always a little too nice to live, but it got to the point where it was more than flattering. He started taking pictures of her and always had really bad excuses. And what are those excuses? Sometimes yearbook, sometimes a fly on the wall photography project, etc. I should start heading back to school. Let me know if you find anything on the phone. Yeah, sure, if I legally can. <laughs> of course. Roxy, wait. Yeah, look. Tell him to look through my stuff. Police thought something. Uh, detective. Yeah? She says to go through her stuff. And what am I looking for? There's a box. It's full of letters. A box full of letters. It will help him understand why I filed the report. Thank you, Olivia. Uh, she's there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Thank you, Olivia. No problem, detective. She says no problem. I should start heading back now. Yeah, I should probably start heading back to find out when that is. Uh, thanks for the coffee. No problem. Bye. A hey, star for flirting, guys. Shut up. Maybe it has something to do with our dead friend, Adrian? No, it's something different. It, it's nothing, just leave it. I'm doing homework. Since when do you care so much? Maybe I want to do well in school. Ever thought of that? You do? <clears throat> Maybe. Maybe I just want to focus on something other than this. Rude. I don't mean like that. Who are you talking to? Uh, no one. Myself. Again? You do that a lot, you know. Yes, again. I am so confused. Have I done something to bother you? Was it you in that photo? Oh, sorry. What photo? The one with me that went around ages ago. Why are you bothered by that, Ava? Well, was it? Was it you? Seriously, I'll stop it. Has it seriously taken you this long to figure it out? What? what? <laughs> of course it's him. No one has hearts like him. Seriously? I mean, you're not wrong, but... <laughs> Don't look at me. Look at them. <laughs> Well, was it? Was it you? Alright, fine. Yeah, okay. It was me. I got really, really drunk. I went round. It happened. It was a mistake, right? You are so smooth. with guys not so tough. I didn't say anything, but you're not great with guys. See? Hey, I brought coffee. I didn't know what to get. You didn't strike me as a cappuccino but only with coconut milk and chocolate sprinkles kind of guy. So I just got your flat white. Using my own jokes against me? <laughs> and 
What even is a flat white? Coffee, milk, same as everything else, really. Well, whatever they are, I like them. Thanks. No problem. Hey! You guys are so cute! Walk and talk? Sure. How was... Don't ask. Ah. It's just weird for us all, without Liv. I'm still here. Does she, uh, not go with you? She does. You do. But she's not properly there. No one else can hear you. I'm, uh, so confused by this conversation. Yeah, and you're only getting one side of it, Detective Dreamy. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, no one gets it? Nope. And do they know that you can? They do. They just don't really believe me. They make jokes about it, call me ghost girl and stuff. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but I might not be 100% convinced myself. Well, you did say I should see a psychiatrist. I know, and I did say sorry, but they shouldn't be dicks about it. <laughs> Am I the only one who thought that sounded weird? <laughs> Did I say something? Well... No, 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 no. Brox, Brox, you can't. It was just funny, the way you said it. <laughs> Is it because I said dicks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what's funny about that? It's like hearing your teacher swear. It's like, you're an adult. Yeah. And like a detective. Like hearing the teacher swear? Exactly! Yeah! <laughs> well, I hate to break it to you, but we are normal people too. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> didn't expect it from you. You're so formal. Well... Maybe a little more informal with you. What was that? That was shaping up to be a real movie moment. This is not the movies, Liv. So... Did the tech guys, they, they find anything on the phones? They think they may have found some things, but there was a lot of people there. I actually wanted to show you something. Oh, right. That box that Olivia mentioned, I actually found it. Oh, you did? Was it helpful? Before I show you, do I have Olivia's permission? I feel I should maybe ask. Liv? Yeah, all right. He can show you. She said it's okay. Right. Well, here you go. It's all letters from Mr. Saunders to Olivia. That little. Your friend didn't submit them when she found the letters and filed the report. He had an unhealthy obsession with a lot of things. I'm assuming you mean music and photography. Other than Liv. Judging by the letters, he uses it as a form of communication. Yes, he seems to send a photo of Liv with every letter. Why didn't you tell me about this? I didn't know how to. I thought I was overreacting. <laughs> no! This isn't cool! What he did! Why didn't you tell me about this? I thought we told each other everything! Well, maybe we didn't. You said it yourself, everyone's secrets are gonna come out. Sorry. What's going on? 
You still should have. Why? You're not my mum. I'm not saying. I don't want to talk about this. Was just. We argued and she left. Roxy, you need to be prepared that everyone's secrets are coming out. You know, nothing stays secret for long. I know, I told Liv that. I'm sure she had a good reason for not telling you. She would have been scared, felt alone, so this problem was hers to deal with. I uh, think it's time I went to see Nathan Saunders, considering how things went with you and Mimi. Maybe you shouldn't come along. I actually agree with you. Want me to drop you home? It's fine, I can walk from here. I insist, considering you bought the coffee. All right then. Oh gosh, I'm such a klutz. It's fine. She, uh... Evidence goes missing all the time, right? Me and Olivia, we were in love. In love? My ass. Well, maybe she didn't tell you that because she generally loved me. She didn't love you. She liked Jake. Please, you and me both know that that relationship was toxic. It was me she was destined to be with. If you don't stop lying, well, stop lying right this second or else. I'll just face it. You're just jealous because me and Liv had a better connection than you two ever did. <laughs> Is that true, Nathan? No. You little liar! I think you've lost it in the head, Roxy. Maybe you should see someone about that. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Roxy, what's going on? Him, he's been following me! Roxy, look at me. Calm down and take a deep breath. Stay the hell away from me, Saunders. Thanks for stepping in, Mr. Castell. It's alright, mate. She was gonna kill him. I don't think I've ever seen her that bad. I've never seen her that bad. 
Mr. Saunders, I have a few questions I'd like to ask you. Do you want to follow me? Ruined everything. He's never going to take me seriously now, is he? Come on, Nobs. I'm sure he knows what you're going through. I don't know. Wolf seems to switch between being completely understanding and 100% cop. Well, this is a difficult case for him too. I mean, he seems to be struggling. I guess. Speak of the devil. Hi. Hey. You uh, doing okay? Yes. No. I don't know. Look, about yesterday, I'm sorry you had to see that. What I did was, it wasn't cool. I wasn't cool. So, understandable. I mean, what you did to your friend was awful. So, you're not mad at me? Why would I be? Because I, I took... The letter. Yes, I wasn't happy about it at first. I thought about not involving you in the case, but I thought about it and what I would have done. And to be fair, it was more controlled than what I would do. Really? It's okay. I would have uh, shown him a letter anyway. I'm sorry, I did that. I planned on getting it back. Roxy, it's uh, okay. I don't trust that Nathan one bit either. He's been lying through his teeth. Yeah, he does that. There was one letter that caught my eye. In fact, I wanted to show you. This time, don't take it. <laughs> Very funny. What does it say? I'd rather see you dead, little girl, than to see you with another man. Make sure you keep your head, little girl, or you won't know where I am. Let this be a sermon. I mean everything I've said. Baby, I'm determined and I'd rather see you dead. It's a little song called Run For Your Life. <laughs> if that's not motivation, I don't know what it is. He's talking about her and Jake. Jake Newman, her lives boyfriend. I wasn't really a fan of him. Nathan said something to me yesterday, in the cafeteria, he said. You and I both know that relationship was toxic. <laughs> it was me she was destined to be with. Each of the letters he sent were dated. Look, Look at this one. 3rd of May 2019? That's the day before Adria's party! Exactly. I think we just found our prime suspect. Hold your horses there, Moore. I uh, actually came to give you your phone back. Oh, I assume you've gone through the footage then? Well, yeah, we uh, found some very interesting things. Like what? Well, in the station we have seven main suspects. Seven? Yes, five of them were at the party, one of them being Nathan Saunders. When we interviewed them, we asked about their whereabouts at the time of the murder. Mm, yes, I remember. All of the suspects were lying, except one. Who? Nathan Saunders. You've got to be kidding me. I'm afraid I'm not. God, the one time I wish he'd lied. I know. Now our uh, prime suspect has a legitimate alibi. We're leaving us back at square one. They call me girls, girls. I'm not good with words. No one 